Hi guys, welcome to the short video today and it's another in the Tools to Use series. So today I'm going to be talking about how you can view your website on different hardware screens. So things like iPhones, Kindle devices, different size desktops. Now this can be useful because supposing you don't have any of those things, you've only got maybe your PC or um, you know a an iPad, something like that, but you want to see how your website displays on all the other different types of things. So there's actually a free tool that allows you to do that. So first of all, I'm just going to pop over here and I'm going to tell you um, the first thing that you need to do is always make sure that your website is mobile friendly. More and more people are consuming their content through mobile devices, whether that's a mobile or a cell phone, whether it's a tablet such as an iPad or any of the others. Um, so you want to make sure that people can view it that way. If you find that your site is not mobile friendly, you're going to have to do something about it. If you're using WordPress, there are some plugins you can use that you can change the theme so it does become mobile friendly. If you've got a different type of website that's been custom built for you, then you're obviously going to need to talk to your developer about different um, options that you've got. So the first thing to do is to come over to this Google Developers page. Just type your website URL in there. It will analyze it and hopefully it will give you the thumbs up and it will tell you that it's mobile friendly. As I say, if it doesn't, then look into the alternatives. Now the other thing you can do is to pop over here to a site called quirktools.com screenfly. Now this is allows you to you know make sure that your site is displaying how you would want it to. Obviously sites look very different on a very tiny cell or mobile phone screen um, than they do when you're looking at it on your laptop or your you know your desktop PC. And there's going to be changes, but you just want to make sure that the flow is okay, that people can actually see what you're expecting them to see. So the first thing that you do is you just um, type in or copy and paste in your website URL. You click go. It's just working quickly now. And you can see my Cartwheels Across the Sky site has come up. Now, if you go to this across the top here, it gives you lots of different options. I'm actually not going to go into different things here like um, share and scrolling and rotate screen. We're just going to focus on these main ones here. So the first one is actually different types of desktop. So if you click on there, I normally view my site on a 15 inch um, laptop. So you can see when I click on that one, that's how I normally um, see it. Obviously, I've only got screen share, doesn't do the complete size of my screen here, so that's why it looks a little bit cut off. But, you know, mostly that's how I would view it. But you can then also see how does your site look on a 24 inch desktop, and you can see that your site is much more focused in the center there. I'm having to scroll across to show you the side and you can scroll down but at least you can see you know it's displaying nicely um, what it looks like at the sides things like that now perhaps more interestingly are things like tablets so for example I can click on iPad and now I can see what my site looks like on an iPad you can see here this is what you click on on an iPad to bring up the menu uh, and that takes you to the menu that would normally be across the top of your page when you're seeing it on a desktop. You could scroll down, see how it displays. Obviously, I can't scroll down within the actual tablet itself, but it gives you a really good idea of how it looks. And if something was glaringly, you know, obviously wrong, at least you'd be alerted to that. For example, um, I've had situations where um, people haven't wanted these to be dropped down onto the next row on a mobile phone or a um, tablet. So you can then go around perhaps making these buttons slightly smaller so they all fit together on one row. It depends what you like, how you like it to look, but at least you can see a good view of it. Now within this section you could also look on things like Kindle Fire, obviously a bit smaller, but you can see it still is okay, it's still readable. 
there's a few other options in there so have a look through uh, Samsung etc now this one is cell or mobile phones as we call them in the UK you there's a few different options obviously it's not going to give you every different type of um, phone option but it is going to show you some of the key ones so there's the Motorola's things like that there's galaxies and obviously I tend to look on iPhone and just see how that looks again you can see this little um, three lines here that's what you'd click on to get the um, the menu to come up so you can see obviously there's not a lot of space on a screen but at least you can see that people are able to see the menu and you can also see how for example my hello bar changes so people can see that things like that so it's just worth having a look the other thing is how it would appear on televisions because more people are consuming um, the internet through their TV so if you went to a 1080p obviously huge screen uh, and you could see it in the middle there now obviously you can't be you can't be everything to every type of different screen but as long as the overall look um, seems okay there's not like major errors where big blank spaces in the middle of the screen or you know there's no menu coming up for example on an iPhone something like that so just have a look make sure it looks okay if you need to make some small adjustments you can make them and then you can come back to this site um, put it in again refresh it and see how it's looking so that's just a tool because I know I struggled for a while thinking I wonder how this does look say for example on an iPhone and um, it's nice just to be able to see it to see how other people are viewing it and consuming your content okay I hope that's been helpful that's just one to try today guys um, see what your site looks like come across to our free Facebook group if you want to I'll put the link below this video and the same with the other two links that I mentioned there the mobile friendly device and this screen fly one they'll both be below the video but do come across and join the Facebook group love to see you in there and if you've got any questions you can always ask thanks guys I'll see you next time